I really don't understand why teachers put so much emphasis on testing our comprehension. Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. And today I want to talk about comprehension questions, how they relate to language learning. Remember, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, follow me on a podcast service. And if you do, please leave a review. So comprehension questions are kind of a staple for the language teaching community. Uh, they want to ask you, the teachers, did you understand who, what did this person do to that person? And I'm, I'm reminded of the sort of, and I, I must say, I've talked about this before. I am very sort of allergic to comprehension questions. I don't like them. I think they're, they destroy the pleasure of, uh, of reading or of listening. Uh, and I, the reason I raised this is because I decided to sort of investigate this uh, language learning system that the Canadian government has spent money on, uh, working together with the uh, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation and Radio Canada, uh, to use sort of, uh, radio program or television programs as a means of helping Canadians learn the other official language, or some people maybe need to learn them both. I don't know. Uh, but a key element in this program is comprehension questions. So I signed up and uh, they sort of ask you what your level is. And I said, this is for French. I said, I'm advanced. And then they uh, give you a four minute TV program and ask you questions on it to sort of confirm that you are the level that you said you were, which I think is kind of silly. If I say I'm advanced, it's good enough. If I'm not, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, however, so comprehension question is not really about language. It's about trying to remember what was in that program. And when you listen to a four minute television program, you're not concentrating the whole time. So it's very possible that you will miss whatever detail it is that they choose to ask you a question on. So it's actually kind of meaningless. And it also destroys the fun of listening and reading. So I want to quote to you, um, a, a Brazilian educator. And when I was learning Brazilian or Portuguese, I listened to a lot of his content. I bought uh, CDs and he has a wonderful voice and he has a wonderful uh, attitude towards learning. And I quote to you in English, what he said about questions. He said, there is a total incompatibility between the joy of reading a vagabond experience and the experience of reading in order to answer questions and explain what you understood. Now, this applies both to reading and listening. We read and listen for pleasure. We read and listen in order to allow our brains to get used to the language we're learning. Uh, the more we listen and read, the better we learn. But of course, we're not concentrating the whole time. Uh, there are parts that we miss because we weren't concentrating. There are parts that we don't simply understand, which is also okay. We understand 50, 60, 70%. I'm never interested in answering questions on what it is I understood. Now, again, in this, uh, it's called Mori, M-A-U-R-I-L is the name of this app. You can find it in the, in the app store. Uh, and the whole thing is built around comprehension questions. So you can select a television program to listen to that's either two or five or 10 minutes long, and then you answer questions on it. And if you answer the questions correctly, then you gradually can move to the next stage and the next stage. So answering comprehension questions is also a means of controlling you. So you can't just wander around and, and, you know, study whatever text you want to study or whatever TV program you want to watch and listen to and read, you have to kind of follow their progression and they control you with these comprehension questions. And very often, you know, two or three potential answers are correct, or maybe none of them really strikes you as being correct, but you have to fit into the answer that they're looking for, which also bothers me. Uh, and of course, teachers have to prepare these comprehension questions. So it's not just a matter like I can go on YouTube and find content, uh, you know, whatever I want, uh, TV program or a movie or a documentary, 
And if there are um, subtitles, I can import it into Link and study it, whatever I'm interested in. Nobody has to prepare comprehension questions for me. We don't need an army of, of teachers, you know, preparing all the stuff. Everything is available to learn from. And sometimes I understand it better. Sometimes I understand it not so well. I listen to my uh, Persian uh, podcasts, uh, read through it, and gradually understand a little bit more. And it's part of this vagabond experience, as Ruben Alves says, of enjoying the language. And if I had to answer comprehension questions, um, I wouldn't. It simply destroys the fun of it. So, I, and, and you know, it was funny, I, I remember when I was learning Russian, there was a wonderful book uh, on Russian history. And they also had audio with it. But the audio didn't correspond to the text because somehow it was felt that it was better that reading is one activity and listening is another activity and the, the two don't connect. But to me, if I listen to something, I then want to be able to read it. And if I read it and look up words, I will eventually understand more and more of it without having to answer comprehension questions. Uh, so, uh, you know, I raise this because I, I've, it's a kind of a theme that I've worked before. I really don't understand why teachers put so much emphasis on testing our comprehension. Now, I do understand that uh, in school curricula, uh, schools are, are obliged to test the students in order to prove to the parents and to the school administrators that the kids learned something, which is very unfortunate because as I've said before, uh, in Canada, the majority of kids who are in the regular French program after eight, 10 years, they can't speak French. So it really doesn't matter how well they did on comprehension questions. In fact, they can't use the language. If on the other hand, the emphasis were more on making the language important or interesting or fun, maybe more of them would fall in love with the language. More of them would learn the language than is the case right now. So nothing really new here. It's just that I happen to be, you know, uh, I wanted to test out this new, this, this uh, program called the uh, Mori, M-A-U-R-I-L. And I was immediately confronted with all these comprehension questions. And so I thought I would do a video on it. Um, remember though, the most important thing in language learning is enjoyment. And if comprehension questions increase your enjoyment of language learning and in your enjoyment of listening to and reading in the language, good. For me, it doesn't. So again, thank you for listening. And uh, I have a couple of videos that are somewhat related. So if you want to follow up, you can go there and have a look. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.